Hello, today uh, I have something interesting. Yes, I know, I always say that. Here is a remote voltage monitoring system. One ESP32 device is measuring voltage of this battery using this voltage sensor module and sends the value to the second device using ESP now. I often get requests for projects like this. People usually need this for monitoring small solar systems or some batteries which are for example in the backyard. Right now I'm measuring sorry this battery but if I disconnect if I disconnect this battery value will be the same on bo both devices. I will uh, connect this voltmeter to my power supply unit. I'll turn it on. What is interesting here that both of these boards run the same code. My idea was to make this uh, as easy as possible to use. Uh, so same code for sender and for receiver. How is that possible? Also, you don't even need Arduino ID to upload this code on anything else. Yes, uh, as always, I will share the source code for this, but you can also find, um, I will share in this folder this bin file. We can say firmware. Uh, and you can install this firmware using this JavaScript firmware flasher which runs in browser so super easy to flash this code in both these boards so you will upload uh, the same code and you will just need to uh, use this user interface sorry to set a uh, receiver mac address I will show you this in a second. But first I will take this opportunity and I will invite you to join us to subscribe to this channel. My channel is uh, about development boards, mostly SP32 and about these, uh, I think, good looking user interfaces. If you want to support my work, you can always buy me a coffee. And what is new now, I have Patreon. Mm -hmm. So you can also become my Patreon supporter. Thank you, uh, links are in description and let's check our device. Okay, I will try explain a bit. So first, how the device know is it sender or receiver if code is the same. I will plug off the power and I will disconnect this voltage module. It is. It was connected to port A, not port B. A only port A will work. And if I plug it back, device will be receiver. So if sensor is not plugged, device is receiver. You can see that this rotary dial is used for setting brightness. And if I connect voltage sensor device will know that this is sender device without module will be receiver and here we can see mac address of this device so esp now uh, when we are using esp now we need to know mac address of receiver so we need to memorize this value and we can use, we 
can press this push button and set using rotary dial uh, I can choose byte I want to edit and using this touch screen I can set uh, I can I can set that byte in hex value and everything is stored in EEPROM so after board is reset this uh, value will be the same also brightness is sorry brightness is also stored in EEPROM and this this function also this function is used if you don't want to send if you want to save uh, power power because ESP now also need some milliamps you can turn off sending to another device and device will reconfigure will reset itself and reconfigure so if I connect it to my power supply value will be same if and you can see this graph which also uh, it is more important to say that uh, this can measure voltage up to 36 volt so keep that in mind why I decided to use these devices this is M5 uh, M5 dial board made by M5 stack and why I decided to use it because firstly it has it has touch screen so I can set MAC address it has this rotary dial but main reason is this this device can be powered using um, USB port it can be powered uh, with standard battery under this M5 stamp is battery connector and but main reason is this connector so this device can be powered from uh, uh, any voltage between 6 and 36 volt so it can be powered directly from a solar panel and another reason is it is so easy to mount to some panel on or board you need just something with 14 millimeters hole you will put inside and And voila, it is mounted. So for full system you will need two of these boards and this sensor. Uh, as you probably know, ESP32 have very bad uh, analog to digital converters and it is very hard to mm, mm, to precisely measure some voltages but this module uh, yes it is quite expensive but is this is best I I tried when measuring voltages is um, I have this for a long time and it is very accurate it have a external ADC inside and EEPROM and it is factory calibrated and I don't know I can compare it to for example some right now it says 11 volts my power supply also said 11 volts and let's try to add this and which also said 11 volts let's try to 
11.4 so very accurate I'm afraid this will be a long video you can find uh, links about these devices in description so if you want to buy them I will also earn something because the, these links are affiliate links I'll reduce the brightness so you can uh, use these two standalone you can use all three of these modules if you need uh, remote monitoring or you can even use only one uh, only one if you like this uh, user interface and you have already m5 dial you can use any other ESP32 board to send data uh, to this device. You will just need update in. I will I will also post a sketch for sending simple sketch for sending. You will uh, in that sketch you will just need to update MAC address, and you will use that function. Hmm. I hope I explained this very well <laughs> so this is it tell me what you think and tell me uh, i'm not sure i explained it this very well so um, feel free to ask but it is simple this device is measuring and this device is receiving you can put this near to your batteries or solar and this one near in your house to monitor some voltage for whole system you will need two of these and one of these and if you don't want remote you can use just these two and you can turn off sending so you will save some power and if you want to just uh, use this one as receiver I will post function which will send this simple float to this board keep in mind you need to update that this MAC address uh, thank you have a nice day and tell me what you think don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check my pat patreon and my coffee page so you can become supporter or uh, you can even become my friend i still need to check all the functions that patreon have thank you and goodbye